today my car is broken. So I figured that I would let you guys know what's going on with it and how I'm going to attempt to fix it before I reach out to support. I'm going to do things that I wouldn't recommend you doing, but these are things that through my troubleshooting abilities, I feel that I can accomplish. But what's going on with my car is that autopilot is just not turning on at all. Traffic aware cruise control isn't turning on, none of it. So what do I mean by that? Well, up here, whenever you're driving, there's like a little icon that says, hey, you can use autopilot. I would definitely recommend just going straight to Tesla Service Center if something like this happens to you. Today is Friday, August 16th, 2024. Last night, I installed Tesla version 2024.26.7, which was a pretty big update. I think that I was on 2024.20.9 maybe before. Um, I'll, I'll put a screenshot in here. I don't remember exactly which one I was on beforehand, but regardless, I had been on that update for over a month. It felt like it felt like it was quite a while. All the new hardware four cars are out. So we're feeling like the cars that are, have hardware three are maybe being slightly neglected. I'm sure that this issue is isolated to my car, but I'm interested to know if anyone else that has a hardware three Tesla, how hardware three is doing on your car after this update go ahead and leave me a comment well ever since the update that icon has not shown up it's been the little dot that it is whenever autopilot is not available and i've noticed that while i'm driving i'll go ahead and insert a clip here but while i'm driving i'm not seeing any other items on the road no cars no trash cans no traffic lights nothing. So I've looked around and tried to see if anybody else has reported anything like that. And it seems like it's few and far between. And maybe I just have uh, a bug or something wrong with my computer, but I'm going to go ahead and go over a few troubleshooting steps. So the first troubleshooting step is going to be to press down on both of the scroll wheels here. Obviously I can't do it with my fingers the way that they are, but go ahead and press down on both scroll wheels at the same time, and that will reset the computer uh, as a soft reset. It takes maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute to get it all reset. The second, if that doesn't work, is going to be a little bit more drastic. So if I go here and go to service, I can go to camera calibration, and I can see how that does for me. Um, I can also do a camera preview and see if maybe... I can get all of these cameras to pull up. Now, earlier, I did notice that sentry mode would turn on, and it was definitely capturing, I'll show you here, uh, but it was definitely capturing every camera angle. So this is the front camera angle. This is the last however hour, right? So it's capturing the front, it's capturing the left, it's capturing the rear and the right. I'm thinking, okay, maybe there's an issue with the camera, right? So... I'm going to go over to the car here and I'm going to go back down to service. And one of those things, like I said, that I could do is camera calibration. Now, whenever I click into this, it says clearing the, the autopilot calibration will reset the calibrated camera positions and angles stored on the autopilot computer. This procedure should only be performed if the cameras have been moved due to a windshield or a camera replacement. Clearing ca calibration will result in no autopilot features until the system recalibrates, which may take up to 100 miles of driving on roads with highly visible lane lines. So I'm going to go ahead and say no, not right now. I'm not going to do that. But that's one of the things that I could do. One of the other things that I could do is I could go over here and while I'm driving, I could turn on traffic aware cru cruise control instead and then drive for a little while on traffic aware cruise control and then maybe go back to auto steer beta and see if that does anything. Spoiler alert, it didn't do anything. Um, so, you know, I've gone through and done a couple of things troubleshooting wise, right? And I've come to the determination that either there's something wrong with one of my cameras or there is something wrong with the autopilot computer after the update. Now, this all happened whenever I updated last night again to this new 2024.26.7. And again, I'm on a hardware three car that hasn't had an update in well over a month, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I think that maybe there is an issue with the firmware software update that I got. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here to, 
software and I'm gonna click and hold on the Model 3 button here and we're gonna type in service. Now, again, I don't recommend you guys doing this if you're not a qualified Tesla technician, but I think that the best thing to do is one, let's go ahead and check the service alerts. And I don't see anything that is really, you know, anything too crazy. Radio soft reset, nothing crazy there. Hardware low voltage supply, not entirely sure what that means. Uh, da, 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 da. A low voltage battery under voltage event. I think that this is a pretty normal thing that it'll throw. So nothing regarding the cameras, right? That was the first thing that I wanted to see. Was there was there anything regarding the camera? And there wasn't. Um, touch screen, bad connection. Uh, I don't think that this was anything crazy either. But there are the alerts that we're showing. If I click on the little steering wheel and I go to cameras, all of them look good, right? I don't see anything that's weird. But if again, if I go to the camera preview, I'm not really able to go and preview all of the cameras. So, okay, that one looks fine. Go into the wide. That one looks fine. Narrow. I don't really know if I'm supposed to be actually able to preview the camera. If so, then there's something wrong. None of them are, are showing. I don't know exactly what the pitch verification means. I don't really think that I need to click on that, but regardless, I'm in here, I'm looking around. I don't see anything blatantly, obviously wrong. Everything's in green, power, status, nominal, etc. All of the stuff looks fine. And there's really nothing else that I feel like I need to look at in the car other than those few things to say, okay, cool. The hardware seems like it's fine. And... I can access my cameras. So the cameras seem like they're talking to the computer still. So the best thing I think to do is going to be the software reinstall. So if I hit software reinstall, um, should only be used if a, an ECU has been replaced. Do not use following car computer replacement. Warning, reinstall will start immediately. So we don't want to do that. But, I'm thinking that that may be the next best step. If you guys are interested in seeing what happens next, please go ahead and subscribe and throw me a like. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you're interested, I'm about to start up a live stream at 7.04 p.m. again on Friday, August 16th. Well, it is the following day and I seem to have fixed the issue. So I wanted to let you guys know what the fix was for the issue Last night, after that last clip, we did go on a live stream, and I drove around, I don't know, 50, 60 miles or so during that live stream while doing DoorDash and Uber Eats, and I started to notice that the car was seeing things again, and I tested traffic or cruise control, confirmed it worked, tested auto steer beta, and confirmed that that worked as well, and I wanted to let you guys know what my troubleshooting steps were so that if you run into an issue like this and hopefully get your issue resolved. So what I did to hopefully fix the issue, I assume that this is what fixed it, is I had it on auto steer beta whenever I finished uh, the update. Like it, its normal state is in auto steer beta. And I went ahead and saved the setting to traffic aware cruise control and drove around with traffic wear cruise control for quite a while. And I think that what happened is that this reset the camera somehow, some way, or the autopilot computer, et cetera, et cetera. Once I started seeing that uh, the cars were showing back up, all the lights, all the stop signs, et cetera, et cetera, I went ahead and attempted to use traffic wear cruise control. It worked. So whenever I was able to pull over and put it into park the next time, I switched it over to auto steer beta and started driving, found that the little icon popped up, tested it, and confirmed that everything was good to go. So that's a quick video for you. Thankfully, it wasn't anything more than that that I needed to do, but I know that some of you are having issues with charging in the app, adjust, adjusting the amperage. I'm seeing some stuff re being reported on X Twitter. And, you know, if you're having that issue, I did recommend a couple of things that I don't believe fix the issue, but I'm still going to recommend those just in case you run into a weird issue where you're unable to adjust amperage within the app, et cetera, et cetera, at times. That would be to double check that your phone is up to date, 
double check that the app is up to date, maybe do a soft reset on the phone, clear any schedules that you do have in the car and re-add them to see if that helps. Maybe remove the schedules altogether and attempt to do that. Something further, obviously assuming that you have access to your own level two charger at home is gonna be to flip the breaker off for a good little bit of time and then flip the breaker back on. Uninstall and reinstall the Tesla app on the phone. Do a soft reset on the car like we did whenever uh, we pressed and held on the two buttons over here like I told you about earlier. And if that all doesn't work, either be patient and wait for a software update to come out from Tesla. I'm assuming that they will be putting out a software update sooner rather than later because, well, people are reporting issues. It seems that this 2024.26.7 update is a little buggy. So anyways, those are my recommendations for you. I hope that that helps. I was able to get my issue fixed, but I know that some people are still having issues if you have any comments, questions, recommendations, please, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what's going on with your Tesla. I'm interested. And if you liked my video, you know, I appreciate all the likes, all the subs. Um, we just recently passed 500 subscribers. So I wanted to say thank you to all of the subscribers. I'm going to have something special coming in the near future to celebrate that 500 subscriber mark. Anyways, it's been a pleasure, guys. I'll see you on another one soon. Later. Later.